I'm a very big fan of the book World War Z by I Max Brooks. I am the biggest enemy of the film World War Z, yeah, the not. Brad Pitt movie. <laughs> and it's not just because it was derivative and not the, 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 the message of the book, this is not a spoiler because it's an oral history of the zombie apocalypse. The message of the book is that when you have a giant problem, the only way you solve it is by getting serious about the nature of the problem, collective action, no heroes, nobody's going to come, there is no cavalry, it's a diffuse sort of Everybody has to adapt to this situation in their own way. The message of the movie is Brad Pitt is a hero who will find the answer, and within five minutes, the whole world is fixed of him finding the answer. And that's exactly... Th those latter narratives dominate our discussion of disaster movies and alien movies, and they are totally wrong. That is not how history has ever worked. Uh, it's much more the other model. And so my question is, is it w aside from World War Z, which... I got to meet Max Brooks. No, I was a very nice person. I appreciate his work a lot. But like, can you make a movie like the book and not like the Brad Pitt, or is it just impossible in Hollywood? I don't know. Well, I mean, that's that's really a great question, actually, and it's it's a complicated answer in that there are a lot of forces at play when you're when you're making a film, and you could certainly write a script that would do that. The question is, would someone invest 150 million dollars to 200 million dollars to make that a reality? And um, Where's the part where I cut the blue wire? Well, yeah. no, I, I, I think that, look, it, it, not to sort of veer too far off topic, but we're, we're at a place now where there's such risk aversion on the part of studios who make these big films, right? Anyone can make a small film that's nuanced like that, uh, but it's going to have a cap as to how many people are exposed to it. So if you're talking about big action movies that, um, to me, the way it gets there, and World War Z is an interesting example because that book was popular, but it wasn't The Hunger Games. Right. Yeah. And so I think that if there is now such a reliance on source material as sort of a way to lower the risk so that people are at least familiar with the title. There's a good chance at least a certain number of people will show up when that movie opens. If there was source material that was so popular but also was playing by those rules, the real rules, um, that the audience, for instance, if Hunger Games had done that, there would have been a revolt if you veered too far from the book. That's and that's right. the way it would probably get to the finish line. Um, World War Z, again, it's, it's a bit niche. It's like, we like it, right? But it's not, <laughs> uh, you know, and I, it, uh, yeah, first of all, I should say, full disclosure, I'm completely complicit in participating in those kinds of movies. Um, you want to try to do things off the beaten path um, and to make them feel as grounded and as useful as possible. Um, but there are so many factors at play. I think it's, again, it's going to need to be Trojan horsed in. And the way it's going to happen is through <laughs> source material that has such popularity that it would be sacrilege to change it. And that's how that message gets across. But truthfully, the book probably has already done half the job of making people aware of it. You know? yeah. Well, if I could just pick up on a, a theme that was sort of in there, which I think is really important if you're thinking about creating stories is we're all kind of assuming that the, the movie about nuclear weapons has nuclear weapons in it, mm -hmm. right? But that's, like, the central issue or a lesson of the nuclear age doesn't have anything to do with nuclear weapons, right? It, it has something to do with how inadequate we are as human beings and our social institutions to deal with this problem. So the best movie about nuclear weapons ever is the original The Day the Earth Stood Still, and, and the aliens are the nuclear weapons. Right? There are no actual nuclear weapons. It's, it's the aliens decide that since we have nuclear power and since we have space travel, you know, our warlike ways, which used to just be a threat to the planet, are now a threat to everyone. And so you know, we've got this like, little limited window of period to, to uh, I can't swear, but work our stuff out. Right? And if we don't, they're going to destroy us. Right? Arrival had. Uh, I was going to mention yeah. Arrival, because I think it's, it's actually exactly what World War Z should have done. Yeah. <laughs> but that is the central issue or the central lesson of the nuclear age, right? That we have these weapons and we are running this risk indefinitely and so we have a period of time to work it out, right? And if we fail, we get destroyed, but we don't have to fail.